Alright, it's Woodward with Vloggity. Today is April 27, 2012. And I just wanted to make a little quick vlog before I go to work for the night. And uh, while my kids are playing together and not fighting yet. Um, so, yeah. Um, I faxed, or not faxed, I copied. No, I didn't even copy. I, uh, I printed out, I wrote on. I scanned into the computer and then I emailed um, some papers for my freelance writing job that I was uh, mentioning in my last vlog. Um, so that is becoming official. Um, so I'm going to be writing articles and things for companies that uh, that hire this company I will be working with as a freelance writer. Um, and I went out today and I bought... Um, couple little things that I like to buy. It's kind of nerdy and, I think, writery like Because um, most people probably wouldn't look forward to going out and buying things like this. But um, here's one thing. Oh, yeah. Thumbtacks. They had ones made out of uh, wood. Um, not the, uh, the pointer part, but the handle part. And they were a little bit more expensive. About three times more expensive. Interesting, but I didn't. I didn't buy those. I thought about it. But then I bought these. Of course, post-its. I wish I had invented those. That would have been awesome. I would be set for, like, several lifetimes. Um, but, of course, I have my cork board over here. I have another cork board down here. I have another small cork board underneath my desk. And um, there's a another small one that has, like, pictures and stuff around it. So I'm looking forward to having my workspace... Kind of clear down. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the stuff on this shelf. I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't really have a lot of place for it. It'd be nice if I had like a shelf up here, and I could put my stuff up on there. Um, I could do that, but uh, I need to find a place to do this. Open this up. Put one of these big cork boards over here, so I can kind of uh, put my my sticky notes and stick um, note cards and things up there. Uh, with my plans of what I need to write and articles and um, things like that and keep track of stuff and be all nerdy and writery, writerly, right? Like, um, another thing I need to do, I need to get another laptop because mine is extremely slow. It's several years old. People, I've actually had people laugh at me because I'm still using uh, Windows Vista as my operating system. Uh, Windows 7 is out. I'm not sure if Windows 8 is coming out, something like that. Um, but anyways, the operating system is fine to me. It's just my computer is getting old. The part where the cord, the power cord plugs into it is wiggly, and sometimes you have to kind of hold it in a certain position for it to actually charge. And then the back of it has, like, where the plastic comes together on the back side is kind of split apart a little bit. And it gets from the bottom, of course, the fans. It gets really hot and about burns my leg. And I try to keep airflow underneath of it to keep it going and keep it <clears throat> running smooth, but it's just not working. You know, it's... As laptops and computers get older, they heat up more, they run slower, and it just eventually doesn't work anymore. And I, before I get to that point, I want to be able to get everything off of this laptop, save it, and get it onto a new one so I don't lose all the writing and stuff that I have on my books and everything else and the memoir that I've been working on. And I have so many things that I do. You know, I haven't finished the revision of my first novel yet. Uh, that's a you know, huge undertaking. You know. And with my kids and my work and... You know, now I'm doing this freelance stuff to kind of get my foot in the door and get some actual experience um, that I can list on like resumes uh, for freelance writing stuff because this will allow me to say that I've written you know however many what, hundreds of articles for you know various companies you know, everything from how to to informal informative narratives and um, all kinds of stuff so that'll be interesting it's, it's a new business adventure for me. Um, working for myself in that respect, but also still, of course, doing full-time nursing, um, because that's the main thing, and the writing stuff is just, you know, on the side, and it's uh, because I, it's what I want to do. Um, so it'll bring in a little bit extra cash, you know, not getting paid a lot for it, but it's something. A lot of uh, freelance writers that get out their first time, they may get paid nothing. They may just get a contributor's copy or something, if they're writing to a magazine or a newspaper or something like that. So I'm actually going to be getting paid you know, for my first job ever as a writer. Um, so that would be interesting. But I like to go into the stores. I like looking in the office supply section I have for years. Since I was 
at least 12 years old, I've really enjoyed writing. I actually have a story called um, The Assassin that I started writing when I was 12 years old um, on a typewriter in New Hampshire in a little um, corner of my bedroom. Um, but that's all for now. Uh, what do you think about, um, I don't know, about writing? Um, do you care for writing? Have you wanted to write before but you never really got around to it or you don't know how to start or you think you're not good enough at uh, grammar or research because that's another thing you have to do for being a writer whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, or you're a freelance writer writing articles for companies or you know whatever you have to do research and make sure that's credible research but you don't want to spend so much time on the research that it, it makes you think way too much about what you're writing and then it takes forever to write especially if you're on a time crunch so but you want to make sure things are factual and um, clear be able to communicate clearly and write on a level that most people can understand and read because some people only have an eighth grade education so that seems to be where they want us to write for this freelance job that I'm doing kind of on an eighth grade type level but eighth graders are pretty smart so I'm not taking anything away from them but I'm used to writing it you know um, the uh, the associate bachelor's and master's level in college so um, I just have to change things up a little bit and word it a little bit differently and things like that but it'll be a challenge it'll be good um, good experience so yeah what do you think about uh, writing freelance writing have you ever wanted to write uh, is this something that you want to do is this something that you do already um, let me know in the comments